Hello. The next step is um, when we're touching the side panel to the front panel together, and that's the seam here. So right side with the right side, on top of each other. So the most important now is make sure our markings, yeah, there, it's matching with and matching your seams. So pin along your the machining line together. So that's what I will usually do, just try to pin the most important um, points there and there. So and then to distribute the fabric in the between. There we go, I hope you can see that clearly. So that's my pin line. So the first I'm going to do is just going to check, make sure the lines are matching. So here it's not following the line, so I'm going to unpick that and um, undo that and pin that and pin it back. So it's important that those balance lines are in the right place. So, okay, so a waistline is marching, the drop waist, chest line, yeah, perfect. Yeah, so I think I need to correct that line a little bit here. So make sure it follows my armhole line. There we go. So that goes that. So just checking my chest line. It's perfect. So now it's ready to be machined. If you are um, want to tuck it first, which just gives you more confidence, um, then you can do that with your tucking thread and you just tuck along that line before you machine it. Otherwise, it's absolutely fine if you're confident that you machine from your seam allowance along that line to the end of your seam allowance of um, the um, side seam. Um, so here I prepared earlier for you already. So if you look, I did in the red thread, so please do um, Remember so that you have to use the thread as um, as close as possible to your fabric. So if you see that, yes. So that's where I machined. So the next step would be we need to iron your seam and iron your seam open. So you need to open that and you open your seam. And if you look here in the end, because our seam, like that, because our seam is curvy here, it's quite difficult to open that seam. So usually people do snip and give some couple of notches to release the seam so you can be pressed flat. But I show you a little trick because we have such a soft lovely fabric which is we can stretch it and shrink it so we're going to use the method where we can stretch your seams so for this you will need it you will need the cloth which is i gave you cotton cloth with the bowl of water uh, you'll need iron 
And um, so I'm just going to have my little pad. So we're going to iron, but you just need to use your iron ball. That's absolutely fine. So get plenty of water on your cloth and make your seam allowance wet. Just really go for that there. So we're only going to iron your seam allowance, um, that area where the, uh, if you look where the um, curved line here, so that's what we want to stretch it, that side, and then you put lots of water on this side, like that. So there we go. And then what we're trying to do is stretch that seam, so make it as, as long as possible, so it will be the same size as that side. So you, you need to use your iron, so it's quite hot iron. Only in your seam allowance you will put your iron, and what you do, you stretch that. And you just go there. So, and do that. Stretch. And the fabric is so nice, so it's actually really good to, to stretch. So straight away you can see it starts stretching. Do the job, that's it. So you turn it that way as well. So I'm actually going to add some more water into my seam allowance. There we go, which just helps stretching. So keep stretching until it gives you the desirable result. And then when you actually have, you just make sure your seam allowance are dry. So you are just iron it. So that way when it's dry, it will remember the shape. So that side. So turn, can you see that already? Perfect. There we go. So as you see straight away here, so when I lay that flat here, see that bubble. So what we did is we stretched that. So that scene became bigger. Okay. And now it's much easier to do when you're going to press it flat. So now you open your seam and you press your seam open. But again, using your cloth, now you make sure you take all your water out, so it's still done. But you don't need it too much water now. And with one layer, go over your seam, and then you start pressing over your seam here, like that. So take your time and you press it as flat as you can. So, and you continue pressing yeah, until it's nice and flat on each side. Okay, so here I already have done the part earlier for you. So can you see? nice and flat, beautifully follows the, the seam here. Okay, look at that. And then if I turn it that side, you can see again how 
nicely done. Be careful not to over iron because sometimes what happens, it leaves the marks along that seam. So we'll make sure you don't do that. Okay. Beautiful. Well done, everyone.